later. Tip is won by the Colonels. And they'll go right to left on your screen in the maroon with the white trim. And Alice Reconati at the top of the key. Kendall Bostic on her for Illinois in the gray. We'll alternate uniform here on a Sunday. Hard drive by Ariel Kirkwood. Left it short on the rim, and it's cleared out by Kendall Bostic. That's what she does. Rebounds the basketball. Right, make her miss. Adelia McKenzie around the screen. Back to Bostic. Bostic. Tried to go low for Rubin and overthrew it. Turnover, and here come the Colonels. First turnover of the night. Something that they're working on. In the middle of a zone there. Find a slasher underneath and a kick out. Three on the Wide way open. from Kirkwood. Ariel Kirkwood knocks one down. Her first three of the year mm. in her seventh attempt. And the Colonels have the first lead of the ball game. Illinois has gone three and two here on their home court. Into the middle of a zone. Kick out for Nye. A little strong off the heel. Cleared out by Bria Bass. And Reconati pushes it up the right side, taking on McKenzie. Trips, and it's a foul coming up. Foul number 22, Eva Rubin. Her first, team's first. Eva Rubin called for that one. And Reconati will go to the line just for the eighth time this year. Four out of seven so far. Second season with the Colonels from Italy from Bergamo, Italy, and that's home the first one to make it a 4 nothing lead. Last year played in all 24 games for the Colonels. Hits them both. A quick early lead for Eastern Kentucky, and here comes some press. They like to disrupt. Hmm. Peoples and Bostic play pitch and catch. Hmm. Nearly a steal, it is. And the outlet to Kirkwood. Peebles over her, nearly traveled, and Aaliyah Nye yeah. will deflect and take it away. So back-to-back -back steals on both sides. For 16th steal of the season this year. There's another one. Kirkwood on a foot race. And she beats McKenzie. McKenzie swatted at it, but she held strong, and Ariel Kirkwood with a couple of points, and it's a 7-0 lightning strike here for Eastern Kentucky. Kirk Kirkwood leads second in scoring on the team. Nye tickles the twine. Aaliyah Nye has hit a pair of threes or more now in five of seven games. Leading three-point shooter for Illinois at 41% coming into the ball game. She's had four games. It's Jayla Johnson Jayla answers. With double scoring, or double digit scoring, along with Demila Brown. Nye, again, just a little short. Rebound, Bostic, Bostic rebound. puts it up and in. Kendall Bostic. Kendall Bostic, her first points. It was scoreless last ball right, game despite yeah. 10 rebounds. Still found ways to contribute there. Kirkwood, jump stop, left Another it short. One for Bostic. Bostic. Yeah, Bostic click, clearly uh, quickly picking up all the rebounds. And a foul, offensive foul on Illinois. I think it's going to be on Rubin. That'll be her second. Oh, center, Eastern Kentucky doubling up Illinois. Eastern Kentucky led by Greg Todd, who has come home to his alma mater to be the head coach. Did not play basketball for the Colonels, but is an alum and is in his first season after being at Moorhead State for the last several years. Second attempt will draw a foul by Hacker or Reconati. Geography of the league. Likes the change. Reconati rolls one off there after hitting her first two free throw attempts. Eastern Kentucky led 7 0, now 10, now 11 5. So for Eastern Kentucky, number two, Kayra Freeman. Freeman checks in. Kayra Freeman, a freshman for Eastern Kentucky, EKU is in. So is Bree Crittenden. And more press from the Colonels. 
Peebles tracks that pass down from Bostic. Lopez to the corner. Peebles launches a three. Got it. Jada Peebles. Jada Peebles coming off a 12-point game. That's her ninth tray of the season, and the lead is down to three for the Colonels. Peebles led the Illini in scoring last year, starting all 23 games. Johnson cut off in the lane. Foul coming up. That will be on Lopez as well. And the bigs for Illinois, both with a pair of fouls. 38 and 83 here at Illinois, but she's in her 36th season overall. Big storied career at Wash U. Jumper for Johnson. Kicks off the heel to the right side and tracked down. By Bridget Fox, who's also checked into the ball game. Here's a runner too strong off the window by Reconati and Illinois in transition. Demila Brown has checked in with the ball. Kick out nine. Took a look at it. Baseline drive instead. Finds an open box. Bostic for a bunny. And Illinois now down by a point, working in the transition game. First quarter. Seven point deficit down to one. Another whistle, turnover. I think she stepped on the line. And it'll be a line eye basketball. And uh, for the first time here, looks like Eastern Kentucky will back off the press. Mario Kirkwood checks back in, and yep, that left foot just caught the sideline there. Official Adrian Gilmore on that. Crew chief Tim Daly. Calais Enterline is the other official for us here at the State Farm Center. In Champaign. Illinois. Peebles gives it back to Nye. Work it now to Brown. To Myla Brown. And Illinois shooting hot here in the early going from three. Chipola College. Illinois with its first lead, and they've done it off the shooting. And nearly a steal. It's going back the other way for Illinois on a foul by Ariel Kirkwood. Thanks much. Illinois basketball out of the timeout. It's been an 8-0 run. Baseline move here for Erica Porter. Strong to the basket. And Erica Porter on the board. Did not play Erica against Porter. Florida State. Had a lot of action in the latter half of last year, and Illinois now up on a 10-0 run. She's shot 46% from the field so far. Kirkwood, kick out. Crittenden, back up top for Johnson. Bostic puts her hands up on it. Got a little piece of it, and a rebound. Illinois basketball. Tamila Brown up over Fox. Missed it to the right. Out of bounds and going back to the Colonels, who've gone cold here in the last two and a half minutes. Check in here now for Allie Collett. Make her first appearance, and uh, knows Demila Brown. They both had time together at Western Kentucky. That's where Demila Brown first started her collegiate career. Sara Anastasiesca also checks in for the Illini. Yeah, they call her grandma. Yeah, they, believe it or not, this is her seventh season of collegiate basketball. She hasn't played all seven, though, due to transfer rules and injuries. Lefty three ball on the way, skips to the weak side, and it's picked back up by Johnson and drew contact as well by Jada Peebles. So an add one opportunity here for Jayla Johnson. Johnson. That ends a scoring drought that was nearly three oh, minutes for the Colonels. Johnson hails from Dallas, Texas, and started her career at Texas State before transferring a few seasons ago. Completes a three-point play. It's a one-point game again. In comes Kara Freeman. They'll, they'll freely sub the Colonels will. Greg Todd likes to keep the pace up, likes to keep the pressure up. And it looks like the Colonels are ready for some press again. 
Jayla Odin's back in. Lucas talked about that. Odin missed the last yeah. four ball games. She's on the floor now. A lot of newcomers on the floor. Six newcomers. Three of them right now. Anastasieska did travel. Oh, called for a foul. A little stutter step there. And Anastasieska kind of barreled her way in. They get called for her first foul. Good plant there by Bria Bass. So bonus time coming up for Eastern Kentucky after this here in the first quarter. Three on the way. Rims out. Cleaned up by Fox. Long two here, and it's good from Priya Bass, Priya Bass. Her first points. And now Eastern Kentucky has their second lead of the ball game. Bass is in her fifth and final year at Eastern Kentucky. And they threw it away. Erica Porter, pass intended for Jayla Odin, and it ended up in the seats. And that is Turnover number six for Illinois already, and that has been a sticking point for them in the early going is the right. turnovers. They've averaged 19 so far. Freeman out for Call It, working on Brown. Shovels it in for Fox, posts over Anastasieska, lays it in, and it's a three-point advantage. 7-0 run for Eastern Kentucky. Brown with a three. Skips over to the right side and a foul coming up. And that is called on Erica Porter, who's turning her hands up in wonder of how that call was made. So a lot of the bigs getting called here on the whistle of pass. Nine of 15 from the line. And she's good there. And now it's a four point advantage. Bria Bass, it was a big news for Eastern Kentucky when she announced. Last year, she was coming back for another season. Now a grad. She has over 1,000 career points. It's played under three different head coaches at Eastern Kentucky. Yeah, Greg Todd announced in May as the new coach. Looking for an opening. Double team on Odin. She has good speed. Looking for an edge. Got to hurry. Over to Nye. Just in time. on the drive, kick out for Nye. She'll size it up, rimmed in and out. Rebound for Kirkwood. It's a 9-0 run for Eastern Kentucky. Open shooter. That one rattles in and out. And touched by Anastasieska over to Odin. Into another gear. On her way up is fouled, and she'll get two. And Odin puts some points on the board for the first time in nearly three minutes for the Illini. Second one's good from Jayla Odin. One possession game. Eastern Kentucky facing Illinois for the first time ever. Three ball, swirls through from Collett. Hit one in her last ball game, and Allie Collett makes it a five point, six point lead, and now another steal. And Nye picks her pocket, taps it over for Odin. Illinois in transition. Aliyah Nye very good at getting steals. Has 15 so far this season. Into the zone, Bostic tried to find Anastasieska underneath. Right there from that soft spot at the free throw line. Good idea, did not execute it though. And a 23-17 lead here into the final minute of the first quarter. Ilya Green leaving the floor for Eastern Kentucky. Bridget Fox is back in. Eleven players have been on the floor here in the first quarter for Eastern Kentucky. They sub freely. Ira Freeman into Fox. Bostic on her. Tried to flip it up. Bostic walled up there. The defense pays off. 
30 seconds to go here in the first quarter. 20 on the shot clock. Ida Bostic kicked it back out. Drive by Odin. Odin looking for Peebles. Peebles will spot up for it. And it skips to the weak side, and Fox clears it out. 12 seconds for the first quarter. Six-point advantage. They're going to play for one. Freeman on Bostic. Blocked by Kendall Bostic. Two seconds. One. Peebles from midcourt. She got it off, but it's offline. And we hit the break. Eastern Kentucky was in. Illinois going left to right. Jayla Odin with the basketball out of the first quarter. Illinois shot 50% for the quarter, but turnovers doomed them a little bit. Here's Jada Peebles from the corner. She's good again. Jada, Jada Peebles, Peebles with her second three. three. She's got six points to lead all Illini. She's hit double digits twice this season and leads the team in shooting from the arc at 44%. And Illinois shooting 44% right now from the arc at four out of nine. A tie up on the sideline to the floor and that ball will stay with Eastern Kentucky. Eastern Kentucky shooting 39% out of the first quarter. Three out of six from the three point line, but four turnovers for Eastern Kentucky, eight for Illinois. That's what Eastern Kentucky likes to do, create those turnovers, especially off the pressure D. This is Fox from the elbow. A little too strong on the 16-foot jumper. Bostic has another rebound and gives it to Odin. Kendall Bostic already has amassed six rebounds. Right wing for Nye. Now Odin, back to Nye, 10 to shoot, into the zone. A dump down for Rubin, she's stripped, and it's Eastern Kentucky basketball. Illinois not been able to find the uh, execution there. There's a travel called on Emma Hacker, but Emma, Illinois has been planting Bostic there in the middle of that zone, and she's been trying to find the post play, but there's been a couple of turnovers there both times. Call it out. Kirkwood is in. Peebles advances and across midcourt. Pull up for Odin. Rambles in and out. Bostic with the rebound. The turnaround won't fall. Foul coming on the way on the floor. And I think Eva, Eva Rubin drew the contact in the battle for the board. That'll be on Ariel Kirkwood. Oh, yeah, she just hip-checked Rubin right there under the mm -hmm. basket. In for EJ number 15, Bria Beth. Illinois hit a three here in the early going of the second quarter. To cut the lead in half. Peebles has hit two of them. Into the post, intended for Rubin. Kickball. Rubin's the only player from the state of Illinois on the team. From Flossmore, Nye for three, rattles it through. Aliyah Nye for three. Aliyah Nye with a pair of trays now. She also has six points, and this game is tied. One of Illinois' leading scorers last year, led the team in threes. She's leading the scoring effort again. Yeah. Bass in trouble there, has to reset it at the top. Reconati. Nearly lost the handle, juggled it. No travel called. It was tipped. And Illinois comes away with it on the miss anyway. Bostic quick out for Odin. She'll try for three. Left it short. Rubin cannot save it. Oh, and it just goes off Eastern Kentucky. Stays Illinois ball. Peebles wide open. Missed it off the left side. One on one, Hacker around nine. Too strong on the layup. And it's an offensive rebound for Johnson. Foster she missed cutter. that off. 
And that's on the floor. It's another opportunity for EKU. Reconati for three. Too short. And a clear out by Odin. EKU had all kinds of opportunities down there. Couldn't come up with a basket. Illinois looking for a lead. Bostic a jumper. Rubin was nearly over the top, but Johnson deflects it over. And Bass will bring it up for EKU. Reconati tried to find somebody, nobody home. A steal for Illinois, but now Reconati will try to steal it, but she's out of bounds and attempting to track it down. Got the wisdom of four conferences. Cal and Duke. Yeah. Into the post, Lopez swings it out. Anastasiesco, a runner from the right side. Lopez. Missed everything. Lopez could not corral it. EKU basketball. Illinois missed their last four shots and has hit only one of their last seven. High ball game here. Kind of been stuck on 23 for a little bit. Crittenden sealed off and a steal. Bostic handles it. Up for Peebles to Anastasieska to the post for Lopez. Shovels to Bostic. Left handed layup is good, and Illinois is back in the lead. Good transition for Illinois off the turnover. Kendall Bostic, the beneficiary of her own steal. Demila Brown calls Bostic the silent killer because she can do it all. Was with Michigan State last year and came to Illinois after Illinois had recruited her out of high school. Lopez with a little touch, missed it, but she'll go to the line and she's fired up. Lopez from Brazil is three of four coming into the ball game from the free throw line, gets her first point there. Did not have any points in the game against Florida State. Playing with two fouls, she hits Anybody both of them. Kentucky, Illinois Lacey. is up by four. There's a drought as well. Eastern Kentucky was up by six at the end of the first quarter. Illinois swung it the other way. Eastern Kentucky has not scored here in the second quarter and a foul as Illinois nearly had a clear path. Foul in Eastern Kentucky number two, Kara Freeman, her second, team's third. Hands of Demila Brown and then Freeman tumbled into Jada Peebles. Peebles, Bostic, and Brown now on the floor and the perimeter. Lopez out to Anastasieska. Corner shot. That's a long two for Bostic. Missed it on the iron. And Freeman pushes to the corner for Calissa Lacey. Turnover. Still no points on the board for EKU, and Greg Todd needs a timeout for his Colonels. Yeah, Bostic, Brown, McKenzie, and Odin make up 49% of the team's points, rebounds, points and rebounds, given quite the bench boost there. Anastasiaska on the drive here, floats it down for Lopez, who will finish it off. Giovanni Lopez with four points, now her first field goal of the ball game. Illinois expands its lead to six. It's largest here in the first half. Eastern Kentucky shot out to a 7-0 lead. Eastern Kentucky has not scored here in the second quarter. 12-0 run for Illinois since the first break. Kirkwood fake and a drive. Kick it out. Lacey for three. Won't go. Rebound on Estasieska. Illinois still pitching the second quarter shutout. Demila Brown for three, swishes it home. Demila Brown, Brown with her second tray, Tyler and Illinois Eastern expands Kentucky. its biggest lead to nine.
And it takes you about two seconds of talking to her to figure out that she's a leader, right. just not just on the court. Johnson heaves one up. That's no good. And between Peebles and Bostic, Bostic will get credited with the rebound. And she is up to nine now. There's a long jumper, won't go. Bostic has double digit rebounds and she'll put it in. Even with the defense swarming around her, gets that to go. An 11 point advantage for Illinois. It's a 17-0 score here in the second quarter. Johnson working on Brown, strong to the cup. Whistle and a foul. Points of the quarter in and she puts one in to bring it back to a 10 point margin. Johnson two for two from the free throw line. And now she's two for three. Rebound number 11 for Kendall Bostic. Anastasieska, left-handed three, missed everything, and it'll go out of bounds. Anastasieska still not in the points column. Three minutes and two seconds to go here in the first half. The first meeting between these two teams. Anyway, Kendall Bostic on Thursday, along with these Illini, will face Michigan State, the team that Kendall Bostic played with last year. Mm -hmm. Didn't get too much playing time as she would have liked. They were using her a little bit more as a true guard. Yeah, stretching the floor a bit. Call it hits one from the wing. It's back to a single digit lead. Lopez in traffic, lost it. Taken away by Call it. Colonels want to push. Johnson, long three coming. In and out, same, same. Ooh. And it's going back to Illinois. No, it's going to I'm the Colonels. The initial call there was going with Illinois, but obviously went off a pair of the Illini players from way down, left it too high. Jada Peebles about had her pocket picked. And a foul is called on Johnson. Johnson hopping around, not liking the call. Foul on number double zero for Eastern Kentucky, Jayla Johnson, her first. Team first on forward. Johnson, the fourth here for the Eastern Kentucky Colonels. You see that Kentucky on their front of their jersey, and it's hard not to say Wildcats. Mm. <laughs> I have to pause and say Colonels, not Wildcats. Lopez gets her own shot back and puts it in. Gets a couple of different stats on that one. Giovanna Lopez has six. Illinois is up by nine, under two minutes to go, first half. Lopez's second season with the Illini. Foul. And a trip to the line. Fellow Illinois number five, Tyler Brown. Double. Alice Reconati puts one in. Reconati now has four points, and they have all come from the free throw line. 0 of 4 from the field. Eastern Kentucky shooting a cold 28%. Both of them good there for Reconati. And she'll take a seat for here's for Kara Freeman. Bass comes out, Kirkwood in. Illinois having to battle the press. They've done it well here in the second quarter. Nye pushing it, finds Lopez underneath. She'll take a tumble after a foul. Illinois built up an 11 point lead here in the second quarter. They're outscoring EKU 19 to six right now. It's back to single digits. After the foul, it makes it for the fifth. Chant hip check there by Jayla Johnson. So Johnson has two fouls here. And Lopez puts in the first one. Minute 44, coach Greg Todd is going to stay with Johnson on the floor. Lopez hits them both, looks smooth on those. Nine point lead. Reconati comes in, she'll get Freeman. McKenzie 
Started the ball game, is back in. She's had a quiet game, though. A double on Reconati. Long three. Call it. Oh, had a good look at it. Peebles directs traffic. Nearly a steal. Over to Nye. Rejects the screen by Bostic. Back to Nye. Had a long look at it. Now into a slashing Bostic. Back out for Nye. Pushed one up. Rims in and out. Out of bounds. Going to Eastern Kentucky. Kalissa Lacey will check in Reverse now as Kirkwood will sit down. Replacing number 11, Ariel Kirkwood. Reconati, a slow walk up under a minute to go here in the first half. PKU just six points here in the second quarter after scoring 23 in the first. And reach on McKenzie. Colonies in Kentucky, number 53, Bridget Fox, her first. See if Illinois wants to go two for one on this with 40 seconds to go in the half. Dump down to Lopez, quick move. Left it a little short, battle for the ball. Goes to the Colonels. Call it, outlet for Crittenden. They'll bring it back and reset. Game clock at 24, and shot clock was at 21, but a whistle on McKenzie, and she's got a couple of quick fouls. Foul Illinois, number 24, Adelia McKenzie, her first, team's third. I beg your pardon, that's her first. In for EKU, number 22, Felissa Lacey. Felissa Lacey now checks in for EKU. Fox inbound, inbound for Reconati. 15 on the shot, 17 for the game. Illinois might get a, a quick shot off here. But EKU playing for the last one. Kick out, three coming from Lacey. That's good. That's a six point game with two, with one. Here is Nye bumped on the way. It's a blocking foul. And that will put Nye at the line. There was no fouls to give. So Leah Nye. He is at the free throw line for the first time today. This is the first one. Eight of 13 now on the season. Doesn't get to the line all that much. Gets to play more of the wings. She hits the second one. The heave is well off the mark, and Illinois flips the script here in the second quarter. that up. Now the Colonels from Eastern Kentucky based in Richmond, Kentucky going left to right on your screen in the maroon. Jayla Johnson with a quick set and a score. And Johnson up to nine points for the ball game. First one knocking on the door of double digits for Eastern Kentucky. McKenzie into the high post for Rubin. Tried to find it low. Pass deflected. And a turnover. Reconati Go up for Kirkwood for EKU. Peebles on her. Kirkwood, strong take and one coming. And some fire right out of the gate for EKU, similar to how they started the ball game. Now Illinois, number 11, Jada Peebles. Her second, team's first. Peebles called for her second foul as well. And Jayla Johnson into the double digit one. scoring. Coming off a hot game last from Xavier with 17 points and seven rebounds, Johnson. Finishes the three-point play and what was a seven-point lead at the start of this quarter in less than 40 seconds is now just a two-point lead. Peoples for Bostic. Over to Nye, back to Bostic. Over to Nye again, around the screen. 
Peebles feeds the low post, and Rubin shovels it up and in. Eva Rubin. Eva Rubin with her second bucket from the field. Ten points now. Uh, five for oh, Eva five. Rubin. Oh, five. Yeah, 41-37 mm. lead. Illinois trying to work that post. Bass missed the jumper. Johnson runs it down at the baseline. Kick out and the swing. Long three. Hacker off the mark. Rebound. Bostic continues to pile them up. 14 rebounds for Kendall Bostic. Nice. Sizes this one up. And it's a little long as well. Into the half court set, Greg Todd in his first year as a head coach at his alma mater. Was at Moorhead State before this. Coached his team at Moorhead State to an upset win over Ohio State in a WNIT back in 2013. Peebles wide open, rims out. Rebound McKenzie and finds Bostic. And Kendall Bostic has a double double on the assist from Adelia McKenzie. 10 points, 14 rebounds in 20 minutes of play for Kendall Bostic. Her second of the season, the only one on the team, too. And there's a travel as Nye fell to the ground while trying to handle things. For five, but clearly has. Switch things up. There's a flash and a slash by Johnson, but was sealed off. Now Bass from the top of the key almost had it in. Johnson, the turnaround jumper. Good job Jayla there by Jayla Johnson to create something out of nothing. And she's into double digit scoring, leading the field here with 11 points. Peebles measures it again. Kicks off the heel. Another offensive rebound for McKenzie. Six fifty for the third quarter and a turnover. Illinois squandering an opportunity and Nancy Fay not happy with that. Bass traveled as she took her first step. Four point advantage here, Illinois. A little bit of missed execution on both sides here in the third quarter. Neither of these teams have seen a postseason in quite some time. Illinois made a WNIT in 2013, last in the NCAAs in 2003. Eastern Kentucky last in the NCAAs back in 2005. And McKenzie fills it up there. Her first points highly touted coming out of Minnesota, Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. Minnesota missed basketball. Six-point lead, Illinois. Kirkwood finds Fox blocked by Nye from behind, and it's a foul as well. Nye with her first foul coming up. Oh, no, what there was a call? Oh, they called it on Kirkwood. Let's look at it again. I see. They knocked down. She knocked down Rubin. I thought it was on Nye coming from behind, and... Illinois the beneficiary there in the basketball. Nye from the top, got it. Got some space from that screen of Bostic. Leah Nye, double digit scoring as well. She has 10, three three-pointers and a free throw. A turnaround by Hacker goes to the left. Bostic, what do you know, has a rebound. <laughs> Oh, Nye almost left her feet. Dump in for Rubin. Left-handed scoop and a foul. Felony Illinois has launched 23-point attempts. Six. They've hit seven of them. And trying to also do the work down low with Rubin and Lopez. 
Illinois turned in its best performance at the free throw, free throw line last game against Florida State, connecting 75% of its shots. Up by nine, Ruben can make it an even 10. Let that one a little short. Eva Rubin's had free throw shooting that's left to be desired. She's now seven of 19 from the line, eight of 20. And she does make it a full 10 point advantage here with 524 to go in the third quarter in Illinois in a 6-0 run. Rubin takes a seat. And the Colonels working it left to right to Kanati, trying to go past McKenzie. McKenzie whistled. Second one on McKenzie, second one on the line high. Throw it low, Hacker turn around. Left it short, McKenzie away with it. Illinois in a bit of transition. Nye, quick three from the right. Too strong, skips out of bounds and it is We'll see what the call, I think it's staying with Illinois. <laughs> Out of the timeout, Illinois basketball, quick Hitter for Bostic, too strong off the window, but offensive rebound for Lopez. She'll find McKenzie, jumper in the lane, will go in. Adelia McKenzie gives Illinois its largest lead, 51-39. Illinois continues to push this game. Johnson falling, got the shot and the foul. Nifty Probably move there from Jayla Johnson, just athletic. Fouls on a lead, a nine. That's her first. Johnson leading all scorers with 13 points. She missed that. 10 point advantage. Illinois working against that zone. McKenzie to Lopez. Kick out. Touch pass. Nye for three. Got it. Hockey assist from the post by Lopez. Over to Peebles and then Aliyah Nye. That's one of those unseen assists. It's a 13 point lead for Illinois. Turnover. It's going back to the Illini. Aliyah Nye with four three-pointers. Now she matches a game-high 13 points. And a couple of subs come two, in for Ariel the Colonels. And number 11, Ariel Kirkwood. Kara Freeman and Ariel Kirkwood. Reconati will sit. So will Hacker. McKenzie works against the press. Going to see more of this, especially with a double-digit lead. Peebles. Uses two screens. Back to Bostic. Into the high post for Lopez. Out to McKenzie. Moves left. She's sealed off. Nine to shoot. Nine. Again. Got it. Wow. How about five three pointers for Aliyah Nye, matching a career high? And it's a timeout for Eastern Kentucky. Illinois has pulled this out to a 16 point advantage. Nothing but net. Shot from Nye, yeah. She's in her 36th season, a Hall of Famer. <laughs> Colonel basketball here in the third quarter. Kayla Johnson flings it up. Missed. Rebound here coming for Illinois. They'll set it up. 
Peebles, the North Carolina native. Back to Bostic, down to the post. Lopez moves right, then left. Nope, and Bostic comes back with it. Bostic draws contact, and Kendall Bostic will go to the line. I'll tell you what, Kendall Bostic's going to be the, the headline in this ball game for Illinois, but I like the play of Giovanni Lopez. There is a Big Ten game going on right now. Number nine ranked Iowa leading Michigan State. 20 to 12 in the, in the first half. Caitlin Clark already with 10 points in that ball game. Earlier today, Maryland beat Rutgers. Bostic hits the first. Bostic now with 11. And the second one rims out. Reconati tried to ramp it around to Fox, couldn't execute. Jayla Odin with the basketball for Illinois. Nye already with five threes, will give it up down low. Lopez in a battle. It's on the floor, it's going back to the Colonels. Terrapins beat Rutgers 73-59, as you see some of the hustle there for Lopez, but she was, had a hand out of bounds across the baseline while she was trying to gather the basketball. Oden being up on Reconati, a turnaround by Reconati, just off to the right. Oden pushes ahead for McKenzie. McKenzie slashing, layup good. Adelia, Adelia McKenzie. McKenzie, six points for her. Bostic just hit her career high 18 rebounds. Clips it by one. All kinds of good things happening in a breakout early season for Kendall Bostic. Swipes at Fox. And it'll stay with the Colonel's seven to shoot coming up. Illinois on a 9-0 run. 17-2 run here in the second half. It was only a seven-point game at halftime. Now a 19-point advantage. Back the other way, a forced turnover. Illinois has turned up the heat on the defense. Got that full court pressure here. An offensive foul. Minute 36 for the third quarter. Odin guarding Reconati. Reconati. What a move, but just left it short. Got Odin switched up. He couldn't finish there, but it'll stay with the Colonels with a minute 23 here for the third quarter. Sometimes it's just so wide open you don't expect it, but it looked like she didn't quite have enough leg underneath it. Slips one, slips two. Reconati trying to create again. Back heel, missed. Rebound picked up and put in by, missed by Green. Finally it'll go by Bass. Couple of attempts down there. And they finally convert. Demila Brown will find Lopez quick up and in. Giovanna Lopez. Lopez into double digit scoring. And Illinois up again by 19. 20 to shoot. Colonels might try for two for one. Bass, long three coming. Missed it to the left, cleared out by Odin. 
Illinois matching its largest lead. They've been in command here in the second and third quarter. They have outscored EKU in the second and third quarter right now, 45 to 20. Odin curls around off the window. Missed it for Green. Green with the rebound, under 10 to go. Bass trying to push it up. Kirkwood, left wing, Reconati out of control, and no basket to be made there, Illinois. with a sizable lead by 19 points. They have really put the screws down on Eastern Kentucky in the middle two quarters of this ball game after trailing in the first quarter. Scott Beatty, NG Erdenhoeg, Lucas Gottschall with you here on a Sunday afternoon. Rainy day in Champaign, but feeling sunny for Illinois. There for Jayla Oden, but she's called for the offensive foul. He's got the shot to fall. Nine and a half minutes to go. Big story in this game's been Kendall Bostic. Good charge there taken. Odin called for the charge. Jayla Johnson hanging tough for the Eastern Kentucky Colonels. Off balance, off the window. What an athletic shot by Jayla Johnson. 15 for her. And a steal. Numbers to the wing. And a three ball off the iron. Tracked down, hustled out there by Ariel Kirkwood. Another three coming for Lacey. This time she got it in a quick spurt here. Eastern Kentucky has had a few of those at the beginning of quarters. 62-48, timeout Nancy Fay. And Nancy Fay not too pleased with the start okay. of this. Colonels. See, I got there Kentucky go. Wildcats. Yep. See, <laughs> what we need is some sort of like uh, a mascot. On my uh, well, yeah, or I just need something that you know gives me a little electric shock that you can just hit <sighs> every time. There's a foul, offensive foul. Uh, Jada Peebles, she's asking for what happened there. Holding her finger there. Oh, Bostic was called away from the ball, all right. Uh, Bostic with a moving screen. But she uh, made her presence known there. Nothing else. <laughs> Ball tapped around, good D by Illinois. Kanati still without a field goal. She is 0 for 9. One of their top players. For Brown. High post, Bostic. Corner for Peebles. Yep. That's her second from distance. 65 48, Illinois. Good ball movement here against the zone. Lacey tries to answer. Too strong to the left. But an offensive rebound by Bass. Kirkwood back to Bass. Rubin on her. Rubin gets her hands. Caught in the cookie jar. For a foul. Back to an Illinois basketball. Well, Peebles just kind of struggled with that. Lacey works on Bostic. Bostic blocks her shot. Kendall Bostic doing it all in this basketball game. Double-double for her, and there with a block shot. That's her second of the game. Lopez, oh, had an open Brown, but instead they'll kick it back out. Brown, baseline move. Oh, with a flip to Lopez, but it was too hard. Brown wants to say Illinois basketball. 
Which way are they going? Looks like it'll stay with Illinois. Yeah, Jayla Johnson got her arm in there. Becca Nottie tipped that away and it goes out of bounds. Very active hands for Eastern Kentucky. Craig Todd really uses the pressure defense. He says he likes the balance of this team. It looks like he's very comfortable being back home. Lopez with a prayer, missed it all on the shot clock violation. That is a one rule. I don't, I don't know how to fix it in basketball, but that almost penalizes Eastern Kentucky there because Bass got it off the window on the rebound, and they were in transition, but because mm. it was a shot clock violation. Got to restart. Looking to set things up. Johnson trying to work over Brown, jumper. Missed it left. Illinois with a comfortable lead right now, six and a half minutes to go. High post, Bostic had it stripped. Johnson will try to beat Brown. Hero step, blocked by Nye, but a foul. The Colonels. Averaging 14 points per game. Has actually reached 26 points twice this year. That's a career high. Out of Dallas. Missed it. Offensive rebound off the free throw though. Out of a double team, here comes a three missed by Collett. Another possible offensive rebound. Colonels on the floor. Timeout called by the bench. Yeah, you can see their chemistry too. Sisterhood has been a sisterhood's been a theme for the team coming into this year. Mm -hmm. Building a close knit feel that that they think will show up on the floor as well in wins. Yeah, and despite that loss to Florida State, that's one takeaway that they said they had. Look at Lopez just trying to rip it away. Tie up now. Possession arrow stays with the Colonels. Steal by Bostic. Ooh. And then who oh, has they it? They got it. Brown's got it. Hot potato. And now a For three. Nope. Lopez couldn't quite get two hands on it. Over to Bass. Through two, Illini. Layup missed. And Johnson trying to do it. Another rebound for Bostic. Make it a full 20. First time an Illini's had 20 rebounds or, or more since a couple of years ago in 2019 when Kennedy Miles did it against Evansville. Five minute mark. Oh, Peebles pull up from 13. Hit everything but went, didn't go in. Bostic <laughs> grabs it. How about 21? 21? <laughs> no need for an ID anymore. <laughs> Kendall Bostic's at 21 in rebounds. Everybody knows who she is now on the floor. shooting two. Look to build on an 11 point total, one for two. About the only thing that she wanted to do better, I think, out of this game is hit those free throws. Yeah.
Illinois is averaging 61% from the free throws. Been working on that. Uh, blocked by Lopez. Illinois just smothering things here against the Colonels, who have managed only five points here in the quarter. Illinois with only four, for that matter. It's been kind of a sluggish fourth quarter, but Illinois has been controlling this here since the end of the first quarter. Peebles got the tray. Jada Peebles. She is into... Nine points, up to nine points with three three-pointers. Illinois has hit a total of 11. Team's best three-point shooter. Right wing, missed there by Collett. Had a good look at it. By the way, Bostic got a rebound. 22. 22. If you're Elon 22. curious, the team record is 30. Set many years ago by Betty Anderson. Round around Bostic. Leah Nye from distance again. And it clangs off the win out of bounds. And we get a substitution coming in. I don't know how many more opportunities for rebounds Bosick's going to get because some of the reserves are coming in. So Lafay Anderson will get Kendall Bostick. Aliyah Nye sits down. And they bring in Lyric Robbins, who's actually been with the program for a long time. 324, a 317 to go, 69 48. And you think long and hard about who your player of the game is because we're going to have to name one at the end. Mm, let me think. 22, mm -hmm. does that ring a bell? Kirkwood had a couple of looks at that one. Three minutes for the ball game. And Amusen will lift a long one. Why not? Everybody else has been trying them for <laughs> Illinois. They've shot 29 threes now. They've made 11. Freeman gives it to Kirkwood out for Johnson. Nice shot there by Jayla Johnson. She has 18 leading all scorers in this game. Leah Nye is the leading scorer for Illinois. Kendall Bostic, and Nye has 16. Bostic with 12. In for Illinois, number 15. And here comes Kiana Rembert, freshman out of North Carolina. Will spell her North Carolina sister from the same area. Jada Peebles. Peebles will check out. She may be done. 9.6 assists. 2.20 to go. Some of the reserves getting some time here. Rembert. Mm, split through that. Yeah, but that had her shot stopped by Jayla Johnson. Rembert was headed to the line. I think she thought she got fouled. She did not, or did she? Nope. Brown triggers for Lopez. Up high for Robbins. To Brown, quick move around Bass. Brown reverse layup with explosion there. Demila Brown, eight points for her. Illinois past the 70 mark. It's 71-51. Coach Faye set a 70-point benchmark for the team as a goal. Last year, the Illini didn't, was well, ranked last in the Big Ten in scoring with 59.6 points per game. That was a big focus this year. Yeah, they've elevated the scoring average this year, about five, six points per game, and they have not lost when they've hit that 70-point plateau. It looks like they'll be uh, undefeated again when hitting that. Missed there by Ariel Kirkwood. Only 4-0 when scoring 70 or more, and 0-3 when scoring less. Bree Crittenden checking in for the Colonels. We're one point in history called the Maroons. 
Not sure why. Just kidding. <laughs> Even kick out Jalen Johnson, long one. Same, same. Robbins throwing <laughs> elbows at anybody and around her, including her teammate, Solape <laughs> Amusin. Brown finds Rembert at the post. Rembert with the hook. The first and offensive foul, Kiana Rembert. Yeah, threw herself there at Jayla Johnson. Number 15, Kiana Rembert, her first. Yeah. With the shoulder. I think they're going to go to the monitor on this one. No way. So it's not been done in my lifetime. All right, well, she's got, she's one away. She's back on the floor. That one too long. And a foul here. Minute 24. Had a few non-conference games and went just 5 and 18. So to be already at the four win mark will feel good. Help wash the taste out of that record. Kirkwood missed the first. Rolls in the second. And Kirkwood in double digits, the second double digit scoring scorer for the Colonels. 71 53. That one goes out of bounds. There's a kick ball out of bounds. Boy, this has just been, this has <laughs> come to a grinding side. halt. This has come to a check it in. Travel called there. All right, back to Illinois. Hey, Fraser, Kentucky number two, Cameron Freeman, replacing number 22, Melissa Lacey. Freeman in. In for Bostic, a little bit of press to work through as we get down to the final minute. And Bostic needs one more free throw to be, have the second highest, tie the second highest mark. But that one almost a turnover. Good active hands there by Ariel Kirkwood. Yeah, despite the lead, Eastern Kentucky's not letting up. One minute to play. Brown Easy. through a double team. Brown to the right side, missed it. No rebound for Bostic. She was close to it. It'll go back for the Colonels. At this point, you might want to miss it for her. <laughs> give her the shot. Separation Kentucky number 22, Melissa Lacey replacing number two, Kayra Freeman. Colonels will drop to two and four on this. Reconati. Out for Johnson. Maybe sit on her. Hangs in the lane. Good shot by Jayla Johnson. She's a great player. 20 there points for her. Rembert loses the handle. And another steal. Back and forth we go. Rembert had it stolen. Reconati. Out here. Now Lacey skips it too hard. Johnson, a jumper, missed it again. And contact with 15 seconds to go. Good. Oh, he's been a little sloppy with the basketball here in the last few minutes with five turnovers in the last couple of minutes. Second one from Bass, she hits them both. Subs for EKU, number two, Cameron Freeman, and number three, Brady. Want to go for a shot. Get it for Amusen. Amusen out to Brown. Rembert, dump down, steal, and out of bounds. And we'll go back to the Colonels, and this will be the it for it. Reconati 
mishandled it back to Brown, and that'll do it, and Illinois will have the victory over the Colonels.